What a great way for the Twins and Griffin Jacks to finish up uh, his season with a win over the Royals tonight. Yeah, that was a terrific job. A good feeling heading into the offseason after that start. Was there anything different that you were thinking about today, or were you just going out there trying to empty the tank from the start and, and just give it everything you had? Yeah, just like that. I mean, I knew this was going to be my last start of the season. Uh, a lot of things we've been working on with Wes, Pete, uh, bullpen coach. So it was nice to finally put it all together and see an end result. We saw, you said you were working on, on uh, some things with Wes. We saw a little more velocity, 93, 94 miles per hour. Is that an offshoot of something mechanically that you did? Yeah, I think so. Um, a lot of my focus has always been my mechanics. I mean, with my unique background and history, uh, baseball has sort of been in and out um, with the road map that I've taken throughout my minor league career. So it's always been an adjustment, making sure that I'm in sync mechanically. And then also a focus for me this year was just keeping on weight and putting on weight. Um, the season's long up here, and I typically have been smaller uh, than most guys in my career, so a lot of it was just making sure I was eating right and putting on weight, talking to nutritionists a lot, making sure I can maintain, you know, full-length season. So first off-season as a major leaguer, is there anything you're looking forward to or are you just kind of going to take a couple of weeks and then get right back at it and focus on, you know, learning from everything you learned this year and then get ready for spring training? Yeah, I uh, talked with Wes a couple days ago, and we built out, you know, a roadmap uh, for an off-season program. So I think that starts early November. Going to take this month to just rewind and uh, uh, relax, focus on getting the body right, you know, getting the, the movement patterns back down um, square. So uh, it, it'd be nice to get home and, you know, just sort of revisit what I've been able to do and accomplish this past year and just and spend some time with family and, and enjoy it. Well, Griffin, uh, from my personal experience, there's never been a problem keeping weight on or putting it on in Kansas City with all the great barbecue. But how strictly do you follow a, a diet, and will that continue uh, into the off season as well? It's not so much necessarily a diet that I follow. It's just you know some basic principles that um, I've learned over my collegiate and um, my my professional career. So I always knew that diet and sleep and nutrition was always super important and things that I could hammer myself um, and it, without you know necessarily focusing on performance. So if I could focus on those small details, it was just only going to make me better on the baseball diamond. So it will allow you to have a little Kansas City barbecue from time to time. Oh yeah, I mean it's such a it's such a blessing coming here and getting to experience this uh, amazing food. Honestly, everywhere we go, uh, Chicago, the Italian, the pizza, um, New York, even. So it's just fun going to every, every single different city and experiencing the great cuisine. Well, congratulations. This is uh, you made history this year. You had a terrific year and a, and a great finish. A lot to be proud of and uh, enjoy that off season. Thank you. Excited for the future. Appreciate you guys.